Through this series too, I'm gonna to bring you guys something different. I've picked up this 80 series Land Cruiser. Now it's a factory turbo 1992 model. Now I love me Land Cruisers, I love me factory turbos. I picked up this one off an old bloke. He's kept it in really good original condition. It hasn't even been off road. There's not a bit of rust on it. So first of all, it's gonna get a spray job. Tires, suspension, this thing's gonna look mint by the time I've finished with it. So stay tuned through the series and watch the process of this 80 series getting a facelift. I've been getting the 80 series ready for its spray job. What I've done is I've ripped off the rear bar, I've ripped off the front bar, the flares and the mud flaps. It's all ready to go and get its new spray job. Let's take it down there. I've just come down to South Tweed Repaint and Panel to check out the progress on the 80 series. Let's go and have a look. Check out the old girl. The windows are out, the doors are off. We've got some progress going on here. I'm sticking with the original colour for the Toyota, the factory green. The 80 series is getting fitted with some dynamic rims and some Mickey Thompson tyres today. These Mickey Thompsons are an all-terrain, 50% road, 50% dirt and mud. Off with the old, and on with the new. Gone with a 28575 ATZ E3 Mickey Thompson tyre. The next stop for the 80 series is ARV on the Gold Coast. I'm going with a winch compatible bar. Side steps and side rails. There's a bit involved with fitting the side rails. There we have it, a very tidy looking bull bar, side steps and side rails. Next up is the window tinting. Final touches with the 80 series. The window tinting will just finish it off. We're here today at Unknown Road Adventures headquarters to fit the EFS kit to the 80 series. What I'm going with is XTR shockies, 40 mil bore, heavy duty springs, rated to 200 kilos. For the front, I'm going XTR 40 mil bores as well, with a heavy duty spring to be able to handle the winch and the ball bar. What do you think, mate? Let's get this EFS suspension on the 80 series. Sounds good to me. I've sprayed all the nuts and bolts with penetrating spray a couple of days before the job. This allows undoing a lot easier. Just for safety, it's a good idea to put your tyres under your vehicle. That's it. I've disconnected the brake line from the diff here. Now there's some little 10 mils that run along the diff here just holding the brake line in place. So if you disconnect it, it gives you a bit of play and it makes it a lot easier to drop that diff down, get those springs in. I'm just loosening the sway bar mounts. Just allows the diff to drop down a bit more. Two 12 mil bolts, straight out, allows it to just drop. And now the diff's gonna come down nicely. I'm also just loosening the bolts in the control arm. Just allows everything to drop down a bit more. Just taking out the bottom nuts on the shockies, on the front shockies, so they're out. I'm just compressing this front shocky down to pull it out. So it's compressed down, you can just pull it straight out. These are original shockies, they're so filthy, they're leaking. Right, yeah, it's definitely due for a change. The springs are ready to come out, so I'm just going to manoeuvre it, free it up, just drop it straight down, and there we go, she's out. Just putting in the front spring, 
I've dropped the diff down. Gives me a bit of room and a bit of play to be able to get this spring on. So a little bit of persuading and you can get, lock it in. There's a little notch on the back there. Set it into the right position. Good to go. I'm just gonna compress this shocky up to get it in place. So now you can just drop it straight in. It's just sitting right now. Perfect. Now it's time to tighten the bolts on the front shocks. Okay, I'm just putting in the steering dampener now. So I'm just gonna put it in through there. Attach the spring washer. Okay, now we've got a couple of bolts up here to go into the chassis. I've just done the front. So we've got the XTRs, shockies on the front. We've got the springs on the front, all in position. I've had the boys here helping me do it. They're a good team. So we're gonna start on the rear now. Let's do it. Time to do the rears. Now, I've got the car up on the stands. The stands I'm using go to 613 mil. Don't go any lower with the stands because you won't be able to get the height. So we're just managing quite well here at home. We don't have a hoist, but we're still getting by. Just for safety, it's a good idea to put your tyres under your vehicle. Comparing the old to the new, the EFS springs are by far a heavier duty spring. I'm just removing the bolt out of the sway bar. I've got the diff jacked up. So if I remove this bolt, it's just going to allow the diff to drop a bit more so we can get those springs out. Now I'm going to pull the spring out so I can actually, I've got a bit of movement with the diff so I can just lower the diff a bit. Straight out the back. And there we go. It just springs out. All right, I've just got that spring into position. So there we go. Twist it round. Make sure the rubber on top hasn't slipped. Twist it into position. And that's in position in the right spot. Looking good. Put the nut and bolt back in for the sway bar here. Goes back quite easy. Just put the top bolts in for the shockies. Long extension makes it a little bit easier to get up in there. So I'll just do tighten them up a little bit at a time, one each side. Right, I'm just doing up the bottom bolt now. For the shocky at the rear, this is the last bolt. So it's pretty much done, the whole suspension kit. It's looking pretty good. Can't wait to give it a test drive this afternoon. That's nice and tight. She's done. The EFS kit is on the 80 series. Now it took about three and a half hours to do. I only put a two inch lift kit on, but it's given me about four inches, which is just gonna be perfect. I didn't want to go too high. I just want to have the happy medium. So I'm pretty happy with it. Let's go and give it a run. <laughs> The 80 series has come a long way and it's finally completed. A couple of months ago, faded paint in totally original condition to how it looks today. I'm impressed. The stages I've taken to get this old girl back to life, the paint job, the ARB bar, the rims and tyres, the EFS suspension kit, it's made it look how it is today.